Good evening and thanks for joining us for News Channel 12 at 6. I'm Scott Hennessy. We begin with a News Channel 12 Eye on Crime exclusive. The long journey to becoming a local law enforcement officer begins in the same place for most who wear a badge on the Central Coast. Tonight we go behind the scenes of the Police Academy in Lompoc to see what it takes. Five seconds. Stand by. 18 cadets are targeting careers in local law enforcement. They're about halfway through an intensive 22-week police academy program at the Allen Hancock College Public Safety Training Complex in Lompoc. When they leave here, they're highly trained. They'll fire around 2,400 rounds of pistol ammunition during 862 hours of total training. I get to be both physically and mentally tough every day. Francisco De La Mora was hired by Lompoc Police. Not ready to go. The department pays his way through the academy. Every law enforcement agency in Santa Barbara and San Luis Obispo County, except Santa Barbara PD, has their recruits train here, and they say it's a challenge. Everything has a reason behind it. Um, stress management, time management, taking care of yourself, making physical fitness a, a lifetime priority. And if we have time, we'll head out on the track after we go to the range. Public Safety Training Director David Witham gave me a tour of the 42-acre complex that was built in 2014. So before we go in here, let me grab some earplugs for you guys. Okay. Before firing live rounds, there's hours of training with specialized weapons that use lasers. The first one, you'll get a laser that's red on the wall, and then the second one when they fire will be green. Training is a full-time job. Most days begin in the classroom. Down the hall, cadets practice responding to different situations on a video screen. We do practical training and scenarios in terms of de-escalation and how to treat people. He's discipline <laughs> yep. and honor. The values aspired to are written on street signs of the inner city grid used for training behind the wheel. Based on what the light says, red or green, they'll have to avoid a collision and, and swerve left or right. Making the right decision under stressful circumstances is a job requirement. And these trainees are aware the profession they're entering into is under more scrutiny than ever. If anything, I think it just holds us accountable and we be sure of our actions, um, tighten up our training and just hold each other accountable. I honestly believe there is no better career uh, than being able to serve the community you live in. Typically 10 to 20 percent of cadets don't make it to graduation. Eight of the 26 who started this fall semester have left the academy for various reasons. Graduates move on to a 16-week field training officer program with the agency they work for. Only after that probation period can they be a solo patrol officer.